Paul Todd's been a member of the Democratic Caucus because he was elected as a Democratic House of Representatives member. And now he's leaving the Democratic Party saying, I'm not going to become a Republican, but I, I would like to caucus with the Republicans. Why would you do that? Let's go to the phone and find out from the man himself, State House Representative Paul Tyne of District 6 on the telephone with us. By the way, District 6 is uh, uh, parts of Beaufort, Hyde, Washington, and Dare County. And uh, Representative Tyne joins us on the telephone right now, probably driving to Raleigh, right, Paul? Good morning to you. Uh, good morning to you, and yeah, I'm on my way to Raleigh right now. I just pulled off to the side, and, and I appreciate you having me this morning. All right, well, thank you very much. Uh, and you, you will find out today, am I right? They're going to vote this morning on whether or not that you will become a member of the Republican caucus. Not the Republican Party, but you are going to be either voted in or out as a member of the caucus this morning for the Republicans. Is that the way it's going to work? Yeah, that's my understanding. So do you feel like you're kind of awaiting the <laughs> news? So, I mean, are you are you confident about this? I mean, where, where do you stand on this? Well, you know, I had some discussions in December with uh, the Republican leadership, and um, they were very welcoming and on board. But, you know, they're a small portion of their overall caucus, and the individual members uh, have the right and should have the right under their bylaws to decide, you know, who comes in and who doesn't. So so, um, so that if what I hear you saying is that Tim Moore, for instance, who is going to be, who has been voted by the caucus to be the Speaker of the House, he has to be ratified by the full House on Wednesday. But to, uh, Tim Moore, for instance, has said to you, come on over, we'll accept you in. Yeah, the leadership has, uh, including Tim Moore, and, and there's been some quotes out there in the press uh, by uh, Speaker-elect Moore that uh you know, they're looking forward to working with me. All right. Now, Paul, um, you know, obviously this is going to be somewhat controversial that you just were reelected uh, as a Democrat. And now 60 days later, you're saying you're not going to be a Democrat anymore. What kind of response have you gotten? And well, let's start with this question first. Why are you doing it? Why are you leaving the Democratic Party? Sure. Well, and there's, there's two main reasons. The first one is the district that I represent. We have a lot of issues out here in the east from transportation funding. Uh, we've got high poverty rates. We're still behind in job creation. So, uh, you know, as an independent working with the majority, I feel that I'm going to be able to get more done for the district. So that's first and primary. The second reason is, you know, I'm a fiscal conservative. Uh, I believe that, you know, the government should stay out of our personal lives as much as possible. And that's who I've been, who I've, how I've voted, and the message that I've carried over the last three years. And there's been a series of decisions made in November that uh, really showed me that I wasn't going to have uh, that space to operate inside of the Democratic Party. So, you know, this fits me as an independent. Do, do you mean that, that maybe you were up for leadership in the Democratic Party and didn't get it? Is that what you're saying? No, I didn't run for leadership. Uh, I did support uh, someone else running for leadership that had vowed to make room for those of us that are, you know, in the center, that are more moderate. Um, and then after that, there were several other procedural things and organizational things where, you know, I had asked to make sure that there was room for those of us that are in the middle. And, you know, when they came out with the new leadership uh, slate that we didn't have an opportunity to vote on, it really didn't represent uh, those moderate members that are in the caucus. And there, there are other moderate members in that caucus, there's no doubt about it, uh, and I respect them for staying there and still trying to work to bring the Democratic Party back to the center. Uh, I just didn't feel that uh, my energy should be spent fighting my own party while I've got a district that, that has so many needs. You know, uh, what you're saying is something I've been talking about uh, for a couple of years, which is the continued slide to the left of the Democratic Party. We didn't have that in North Carolina. Your friend and mine, uh, uh, Mark Bass Knight, when he was, of course, right there in Dare County with you, when he was the uh, uh, Senate president pro tem, uh, the state of North Carolina's Democratic Party did not act the way it acts today. I mean, I think what we have now is a Democratic Party that has slid further and further and further to the left as other parts of the country, particularly New York, California, Florida, when the Democratic Party is just going so far left at this point, uh, it, it's, it seems like, you know, this is a kind of a, uh, a watershed moment for the North Carolina Democrats 
when they lose a guy like you because what we hear you saying is they've gone too far left. I mean, that's kind of what's happening in the state, is it not? Yeah, I, I would love to see uh, either party get back to the middle. Uh, and we had a tradition in North Carolina of the Democrats being in the center and being pro-business and being balanced. And, um, you know, if you look at the policies that have been put forth in North Carolina and at the federal level, they're really not representative of, uh, you know, my personal feelings, but also the feelings of my district. All right. So now you you uh, you leave the Democratic Party. What kind of uh, what kind of response are you having from your constituents? Are you are you hearing from some folks who are angry that you you ran as a Democrat and 60 days later you're switching out of the party? Oh, yeah, sure. And, and I, I completely understand their frustration. I have always uh, presented myself, though, as an independent thinking centrist. I've voted across the lines. And uh, but I, I tell you, overwhelmingly, it's been, you know, four to one or so in emails and phone calls that have been uh, more positive than negative. So which actually surprised me. I thought that I'd actually have more pushback. But when you're a representative, you know, when I was a Democrat, I, I got pushed back because I was a Democrat. And when I voted against Democrats, I got pushed back because I voted against Democrats. If you can get, you know, if you're making a decision with this much positive response, uh, uh -huh. I wish I could do it all the time. To, to get elected to anything in, in this day and age, you have to raise money. And I'm assuming there have been a lot of people who gave you money uh, that that probably you know were huge Democrats that may be looking at this and going, hey, you took my money <laughs> and used it to get elected. And now you're, you're, you know, you're leaving the Democratic Party. Have you had some of that? Uh, you know, not so much on the money side. One or two comments here or there. Um, you know, mainly if you, if you look at who has donated to me, I've had independents, uh, Republicans, and and uh, conservative Democrats. Quite frankly, a lot of the uh, folks that contributed. Um, you know, some of our my uh, friends that have thrown fundraisers for me. I had Republicans. I had independents. Uh, and the Democrats, I've, I've had a f more than a few of them say, okay, good, let's go ahead and go be independent. Mm -hmm. Well, Dare County, where you live, of course, is a very conservative county, uh, but it's also always been a pretty Democrat can uh, county with uh, stronghold of Republic, uh, Democratic a activity up there. My buddy R.V. Owens has always been a big player up there, uh, and uh, uh, his father Bobby and, and, and of course, Mark Bass Knight. Uh, you know, there was no more – powerful politician ever in the state of North Carolina than Senator Bass Knight. By the way, how is he? Is he doing okay? Um, I, I actually saw his old chief of staff the other day in, in Raleigh and, and inquired with her because she talks to him quite a bit. And, you know, he's, it sounds like he's doing well right now. Good. Well, we hope so. We know he's, uh, he's had some health challenges. Uh, all right. Well, we'll see what happens today, Paul. And uh, I mentioned this to you yesterday. We're going to be up there doing the uh, – uh, doing this show live at the legislature at the Daily Planet Cafe on Wednesday morning. I'll get back to you, but we'd love to have you come over and uh, talk to us, and, and, and we'll talk more about your agenda and what you want to get done for District 6 as we move into and in, 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 uh, probably as the newest member of the Republican, and, and unprecedented, by the way. You'll be the only independent in the General Assembly. So... Uh, you know, where's your office? Yeah, well, and, and where's your office going to be? I mean, who's going to have lunch with you? People, I mean, what's going to happen? <laughs> uh, well, um, you know, it, it's definitely this has been a, a big leap. Uh, I'd hate to stand up at the beginning of each session and, and announce my caucus of one uh, to meet <laughs> the next day. But uh, I still think it's you know this is just the right decision. I've been yeah. independent minded. My district is independent minded. Um, so, you know, we've always been independent out here in the East, and, and I'm excited about the change. All right. Well, we'll see you Wednesday, and we'll obviously uh, be very interested in how this uh, vote turns out today. They've invited you to come up today, so, um, you know, hopefully they're not calling you up there to tell you no, but we'll see how it goes when the Republicans vote this yeah. morning. <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you very much again for talking with me and, and uh, letting people know. and. And uh, my cell phone's all over the place on, online. If people need to call out and reach out to me and, and let me know their feelings, I'm, I'm happy to hear from them. All right, Paul. Thank you very much, Representative Paul Ty. We'll see you when we're up there on Wednesday. Appreciate the uh, time this morning as you I know it's a busy morning headed to Raleigh.